Hello everyone, my name is Chief Lanless and welcome back to another Halo News video. Now this is going to be just a fair warning to get this out of the way. This is purely speculation at this point in time, but with my strong hunch and this research that I have done, and if history were to repeat itself, we may be onto something that may be highly likely and very plausible, and that is the addition of two new vehicles to the Halo franchise. Now I did say franchise because... Where we get this information, they have no way in indicating whether or not it may be DLC content or it may be in a future Halo title down the road. What you guys have been looking at on screen are the two vehicles in question. The one on the left is being called the Siege Bike, and then the one on the right is being called the Light Assault VTOL. And VTOL is an acronym that stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing. So it is obviously an air vehicle, and the other one, the Siege Bike, is obviously a single man ground vehicle similar to a Mongoose. Now these images came out from a Megablox promotional mail advertising two new sets, these two f images of their collection, to be added into future inventory. In other words, they're advertising of toys that are going to be coming to their store. Now, if history were to repeat itself, we have seen images from McFarlane Toys, another company that does produce Halo figurines. Now, McFarlane Toys had a leak way before we even knew that Halo 4 was going to have Promethean enemies. They had leaked packages of some Spartan and on the back of the packaging they're advertising other toys that were going to be within their company and they advertised two new creatures that we had never seen before at the time and those were the crawler and the watcher and everybody went crazy like what's going on what are these new enemies going to be added into a new halo and sure enough those turned out to be true we met the watcher the crawler the Promethean Knights into the Halo 4 game and uh, so if history were to repeat itself this could be very likely that we could see these two new vehicles the siege bike or the light assault VTOL and from looking at Mega Bloks's, uh inventory they don't stray away too far or at all from the Halo universe they follow things almost to the teeth here I looked at what their collection is just to see if they make up vehicles or they make stuff up and they have nothing in regards to something they have created they cover vehicles from Halo Wars so such as the UNSC Rhino tank which is only you know seen in Halo Wars we've also seen some other vehicles from Reach all across the Halo franchise so they're not just making stuff up so this could potentially lead on me to believe that these vehicles are yet to come like how we saw from the toy leak from McFarlane toys that those were enemies yet to come to a Halo game so my question is when are these vehicles going to appear now a lot of people are speculating maybe Spartan Ops season 2 because there's no confirmation date on when Halo 5 is going to be released. We don't know if it's going to be onto a yearly release pattern or if we're going to have to wait a few years. So if we're going to have to wait a few years, then maybe we'll see a Spartan Up Season 2 as DLC. Now, we do not know right now if Spartan Up Season 2 will be DLC or maybe included with Halo 5 like they included Season 1 with Halo 4. So if it were to be uh, DLC content for Season 2, it may be likely that these vehicles could appear there, or we may just have to wait for a future Halo title like I did say earlier. Now the promotional email did come with some information in regards to the vehicle, so they have descriptions that did follow the images. Now for the Siege Bike, it is described as Oni's solution to a single man rapid assault vehicles like the Covenant Ghost or the Brood Chopper is none other than the UNSC Siege Bike. So obviously, this vehicle has been built to counter the Ghost and the Brute Chopper. So maybe we'll see a Brute Chopper return in a future Halo game? Perhaps. Continuing with the description, the vehicle is positioned on a heavy grade all-terrain single traction tread. The Siege Bike can easily traverse challenging environments, reaching speeds of over 145 kilometers per hour, that's 90 miles per hour, while maintaining incredible control and field dexterity. The forward-facing armor plate protects the operator while displaying intel for tactical information as well as a firing system controls. So, this vehicle, unlike the Mongoose, can actually shoot. The continuation of the description says that the Siege Bike's armament is side-mounted heavy machine guns M268 HMG with spectrum-enhanced visual tracking functionality designed specifically to target well-fortified enemy strongholds and barricades. The goal of the UNSC Siege Bike is simple but brutal. Through the deployment of multiple heavy armed and swift siege bikes, offensive assaults can form an unstoppable wall of firepower quickly tearing through enemy defenses. So quickly, the siege bike literally just looks like a snowmobile that can hold one person that has very high speeds and can actually shoot with machine guns. So, like they said, they've described it as a vehicle to counter the Covenant Ghost and the Brute Chopper, so obviously that is why this vehicle is armed. 
Now on to the other vehicle, the UNSC Light Assault VTOL. The description is in the vein of the Hornet and the Sparrowhawk. Now quickly, a quick aside, the Sparrowhawk, or also just called the Hawk, is an aerial vehicle from Halo Wars. It was the upgraded version of the Hornet. Now back to the description. The UNSC Light Assault VTOL craft is a heavily armed, full mobility craft flyer designed to operate in confined environments, such as forests, cave interiors, or even skyscraper dense metropolis. Unlike the other UNSC VTOLs, which often have a limited push mobility due to their turbine placement, the Light Assault VTOL has three turbines, one of which is a rear-mounted thrust system that allows the vehicle to quickly and deftly navigate narrow spaces as well as engage swift enemy flyers like the Covenant Banshee. Lightly armored and capable of carrying only a single pilot, the real benefit of this vehicle is armament. Below its flanking turbines hang twin autocannons. The description of these machine guns are GAU-10 slash A space HAC, that is the name of those machine guns I guess, and a pair of rocket pods M302 class 1 GMLS for those that like to know their information on the weapons, <laughs> both of which are extremely competent arsenals when providing ground support or engaging air-to-air -air combat. So from just reading the description and looking at the vehicle, this is obviously a single-man UNSC flying vehicle designed to combat the Banshee with two machine gun turrets and rocket pods. The perfect thing that we need for multiplayer, perhaps. Who knows? And with that, that is all I have for you guys today. Leave me your thoughts down below in the comment section. I do want to stress the idea that why would a company all of a sudden, out of the blue, make up something that doesn't match the Halo lore? Like, they've been following the Halo lore to the teeth, and now they just come up with something out of the blue. It seems very unlikely that they would do this without having those vehicles somehow appear in a Halo franchise in some way or some form. So these toys do have a set fall release. So maybe they could be an indicator that we may be seeing Spartan Ops Season 2 release sometime in the fall. So maybe these vehicles could be DLC or who knows, maybe they may not even appear at all. And uh, that would really suck because I know a lot of people are looking for a UNSC flying vehicle. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to leave a like or a favorite, it does greatly help out my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already for the latest Halo 4 content and all other stuff. My name is Chief Lalas, and I'm signing out.